Hello, I'm Becky Land, one of the geospatial technical leads here at Atlantic, and I'll be sharing a little information with you about the Explore button in ArcGIS Pro. The Explore button can be used to pan around in your view, and it can also give you information about specific features loaded in your map, such as the feature layer and various attributes of a feature. It can also show you information about an individual LiDAR point, it can give you elevation information of your LAS data set, or it can give you pixel values of a raster you have loaded. So this is my elevation model. It has break lines that we've hydro flattened this surface with. And as I was panning around QSing, I see this pond looks like it sticks up out of the ground a little bit. So that tells me that when we conflated it, we got it, the Z value just a little too high. So I'm going to turn on my LAS data set. I brought it in twice, once as points with the symbology displayed as points. And then I brought it in again and I changed my display symbology to be the slope. It's really handy when you're trying to determine the land to water interface, boundaries of your pond. So we're gonna, we want to determine what the Z value of the LAS data set, what the LIDAR is gonna show us. So if you go up to the explore button and you've got several options here, I've chosen selected in table in the contents. So if you go to your contents window, you can select that layer. If you want to see Z values of a particular LAS point, you can turn that one off and you can select that data set version. And then you can go in and you can zoom down in here and find a point. Select the Explore and click on the point. Sometimes it's pretty hard to isolate one point. So what I recommend is the displaying either a shade of relief or the slope, and then it will read the Z value based on your tinned surface of your LAS data set. And you can select two or three points, get a good average idea of what your Z value should be, and then you can go over and select that water body and modify your Z value. And it's just that easy. Thank you. To learn more about this or other geospatial topics, visit us online at Atlantic.tech.